What's up Rangers? So before we begin today's episode, I want to tell you that I would like you to join my Patreon page. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Ranger Rick TV and by your pledge of $2 a month, you'll receive a simple thank you by me in the tier 1 package. For $5 a month in the tier 2 package, I'll feature your name in the ending credits in each video, plus a simple thank you as well. If you do not wish to pledge, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Now enjoy the show. In this episode, I'll take you inside an abandoned hospital that dates back over a century. This hospital treated many illnesses and diseases, but I'm warning you to look away now if you're squeamish. When looking deep inside the hospital's basement, I found these photos that perfectly illustrate what diabetic foot ulcers look like. Digging deeper, I found a hyperbaric chamber next to these images, and it all started to make sense. Hyperbaric chambers are used for medical treatments that use 100% oxygenated air at higher pressure levels than the atmosphere, bringing more oxygen to the body. The increased pressure helps the lungs collect more oxygen, which can help the body heal and fight infections faster, including gangrene, skin grafting, and skin ulcers, among many others. opened its doors in 1911 and closed in 2012. But about eight years ago, some of the hospital's buildings were already undergoing demolition, making way for a new residential area. However, some of the buildings still remain and are about to undergo the same fate. So I ask you to join me inside and let's explore and see what else we can find. Okay, so I just made it inside, and this is actually one of the first things you see. I hope the rest of the building is not like this, but this is beyond imagination right here. Look at this. Look how torn up this place is. And I'm going to turn off my light real quick because I want you to see something right there. I'm going to zoom in on it. This place still has power, believe it or not. You see that orange glow right there? The little bitty lights shining right there. Yeah, somebody left the plug in the wall and it's still glowing. This is ridiculous. Wow, all right, let's get started. We have a lot of options here. Yeah, that's what that is. It's a power cord. Look at that, oh. Yeah, they left the power cord on in here. Look at that. Y'all see that? That is nuts. Um, oh, look at this. They have work lights on in here. Hello, anybody back there? I don't know what they're doing back here, but they definitely got some kind of work lights going. Yeah, this place, this place is in absolute shambles. Oh, this is so horrible. Oh my God. 2013. Y'all seeing this? 
That is remarkable. There's work lights everywhere. What is going on? Hello, anybody back here? Look at this. We got stairs too, going up. I don't know if I want to take those stairs yet. I don't even know what's back here. Jackpot. Look at this room. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What in the world did I just find in here? That looks like some kind of torture rack. Actually, that right there is uh, like a little gurney to help patients up on the bed if they weigh too much. I think that's what that's used for. Look at this. This is like astonishing to see all of this. I really don't want to get lost in here because like I could tell I might get lost. Oh, can I get through? Yeah, barely. This is just, this is way too much to comprehend. This is a massive building with a lot of stuff inside. A lot of stuff that I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at mostly, but Look at this, it just keeps going on and on. It goes further back. We have got to be inside the basement area. This has got to be the basement, it's got to be. What's back here? Yeah, it just keeps going on. Wow. This is, yeah, this is ridiculous. Look at this. They have so much stuff down here. You can't even get through the doorway. Look at this. I have to squeeze through everything. Oh, this is just, yeah. I'm not gonna go that way. It's too much stuff in the way. Wow, found an elevator. Here's the buttons. Kinda clicky. This is so old. You can tell. Did I just get a drop of water on my lens? I hope not. Oh. Yes, I did. You could tell a place is old by the air conditioning vents. Look how old that vent is. All the lid paint and everything coming through. Wow, impressive. Absolutely hear a pin drop in here. It's so quiet. Look how gnarly this is. This is so gnarly looking like just ransacked everywhere. This is nuts. Oh, that ceiling is about to like actually cave in. I'm not going in there. Going back in here where it's kind of lit. It looks like the workers were working in here at one point and they just kind of gave up. But they left the lights running for some reason. More computer stuff in here. This is so weird to see all of this like this. And that back room right there is like totally lit up. Was that, why was this caged off? This whole bathroom is caged. Why is this caged like that? It's so weird. If I'm going silent, I'm trying to listen to my surroundings. I'm hearing stuff, which is not a really a good thing. More medical stuff down here. This is just, this is just too much to take in. Amazing though, if I do say so myself. Wow. See a surgery light way back over there. 
Looks like a surgery light anyway. Here's an elevator. Elevator shaft. Oh, it's flooded. Yeah, you're not going down there. Here's a window to the outside world. Oh, I feel a lot better now. There's a ladder here. Good. I like that. I like ladders. <laughs> but um, give me one second. I want to go back here, backtrack my footsteps because I want to see what this red light is up here. Is this like an infrared camera or something? What is that thing? What is in here? Oh man. Medical bags, IV bags and everything. Drip IV. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see what that red light was. I hope that's not an infrared camera. What is this? This thing right here. Oh, that's not a camera. I thought that was a camera for some reason. No, it's just a light. Okay. You would, you would think it would smell a lot worse down here in the basement, but honestly, it doesn't smell that bad. I mean, I do, I am wearing a mask right now. But you would think, what all this smell do down here, you would think it would smell a lot worse. This is just a blank room. Well, I know what this was. You see that bag sticking out the wall right there? They were in the, the workers were in the middle of an abatement process. But it looks like they just kind of gave up. It really does look like demolition just halted. Okay. So we're kind of right back where we started from. This is where all the lights were. Oh man. I just heard something. Oh man. What the hell? Oh. The lights go all the way down. It's a stretcher. What the hell? Why is this anything here? Oh my God. Oh, this had to be for like a laboratory, for like lab samples and stuff. It's like a big refrigerator. What is back here? Oh my God. Oh my God, this is, oh boy, wow, jackpot, this is just too much. I thought these were surfboards at, no, at first, but they're not, they're just stretchers. This is a lot to take in, this is too creepy. Look at these extra wide chairs, these wheelchairs here. And I think they have that thing on top right there for IB, uh, IV bags. This is nuts, but also beautiful at the same time. I can't even like make it down here because all this stuff is just totally in the way. Look at all those chairs and everything just in there. I can't even get back there. It's too like convoluted. This is so cool to see this though. Here's another elevator. Oh, this is gnarly. I'm not, I repeat, I am not getting in there. I know you guys want me to click those buttons on the wall. I'm not doing that. Nope. <laughs> not in a place like this. You must want me to die. There's like a little intercom system there too. Cause that's if you got stuck. Lid paint. I wonder what's in that fridge, but I don't feel like moving all that stuff. It's gonna take forever. This looks like incubators. Actually, no, this is for a kitchen. 
Yeah, that's where they would keep all the food, I'm just, I think. I think, I think. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this desk. Oh my goodness. I'm telling y'all, it's like every room in here is just like a mess. This is every single room. Now we just ended up in a different part of the hospital. I have no idea what it is, but wait a minute. Oh yeah, we're in the kitchen area, I think. Ooh, it smells in here. Yeah, this is definitely part of the kitchen. The outside world. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so I think it's safe to say this is definitely the basement. This paper right here was from workers, like, because they were do doing the uh, abatement to the building. Like I said before, it looks like they just gave up. Here's another part of the back. What does this go to? This looks like part of the kitchen, maybe? I don't even know. This place is so large. And we're going deep in the back rooms today, y'all. Deep, deep. If they put this wall right here for some reason. Look what I found, y'all. Not even 10 minutes into this explore, I found Christmas decor. That makes me happy. Let's keep it moving. Okay, now what in the world did I just find down here? This place is absolutely loaded with stuff. All this medical stuff just rotting away. Oh, this is badass looking. Looks like people were taking pictures down here, I guess. Setting it all up, you know what I mean? That's cool. Mad props to them. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody's hat. Looks like a lady's hat. Or is that a sombrero? There's the upstairs. I don't want to go up there just yet. Not yet. It's not time. I usually do basements last. This time we're going to do them first, because, you know, why not? Let's go in here and see what we got. This is so bad. Oh my god. Oh, now it just branches off into like one big maze. Training room, home care services. Yeah, we got a um, we got a while here, y'all. <laughs> this is gonna take a minute. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a good minute to explore all of this stuff. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. I know I keep saying that, y'all, but I seriously cannot get over all of the carnage that has been left behind here. All of this metal key, metal key equipment just left behind, just hanging out, doing absolutely nothing back here. Here's some medicine to Bob Jones. Synthroid pills. What the hell is a synthroid pill? Did I really just touch that stuff? Look at all these pill bottles here. I've got diapers too. What is this? By mouth twice a day to pop a Smurf. What? I'm not making this stuff up. It's made out to pop a Smurf. What the hell? Zytrek. Um, is that for allergies? This is completely disgusting back here. Oh my God. Ooh, AIDS, LOS, arthritis. Cancer. These are for all the cancer uh, cancer patients and stuff. Epilepsy, lupus. This is people's files and stuff in here. I'm gonna wash my hands really good after this. This is completely disgusting down here. Oh my god. All right, 
shot of the old bathrooms because, you know, why not? We're down here. I'm not coming back to this place ever again. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad down here. Again, here we go. Look, they left the power running. Why would they do that, though? I don't understand. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Look at this. This room is filled with ice. There's ice everywhere. I do not want to trip and fall. Look at the phone. Holy moly. Oh, what did I just step in? Look at the phone. It's completely frozen. I bet you I can't even pick this thing up. Oh, oh boy. Nope. <laughs> Kinda, not really. Oh boy. I'm recording this right now because I don't I if I slip, I'm gonna catch it on camera. Oh my god. It's like it's like walking on the glass. There's another room that's all messed up. Take a fresh look at nutrition. Yeah, maybe some other time. Down here, this is stay out. These were refrigerators. I'm thinking these were where they kept the uh, lab samples that needed to be cold. Yeah, same issue with this one. These are big walk-in freezers. You want to know something? I might be wrong. This might be a morgue. Like where they kept the dead bodies. Maybe. This could be where they kept all the dead bodies. Yeah, it's a freezer, not a refrigerator. Oh my God. This is just too much. We got a long way to go. Let's keep going. One of these drinking fountains. Let's see if it works. No, they cut the water off. They cut everything off on this place. Another walk-in fridge. What is down here? This door is to remain closed at all times. Do not prop open. Well, the damn thing's open. We're gonna go see what's up. It looks like some people were trying to beat the wall down to get in this place at one time. Huh, it's odd. Here's another room filled with miscellaneous stuff. All this hospital stuff. So much. I'm telling y'all, this, this hospital just keeps going on and on. It doesn't look that big when you're looking at it from the street, but this thing is massive. I'm still in the basement. What is back here? Oh, can we get back here? Yeah, just a whole bunch of nothing. I can't get back over there. That's like, this is all blocked off by this thing. Or can I? This is so hard to maneuver. Where does this go? This door's open. Okay, so I'm kind of right back where I started. I'm gonna make my way upstairs, see what's up. Yeah, that's the embatement machine. Poison in the air, yeah, I figured that. All right. I've got a lot of work to do. This is finally the first floor. And I have no idea where to go. But this is beautiful though, a lot of stuff. Look at the old hallways. Could you imagine yourself as a patient walking down one of these hallways? Look at the old clock too. How cool is that to see that? Wow, beautiful. We've got a long way to go. So this room was beautiful at one point. Look at the ceiling. Look at the wood beams on the ceiling. And now you got all this stuff here. 
And you do have one little lonely back room. Almost tripped. I don't think there's anything back here, but we're going to explore it anyway for what it is, you know what I'm saying? Let's check it out. Ah, here we go. This is what I came here for. Christmas decor. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Now, what did we, what the hell did we just do? Oh, we made a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, fair enough. Looks like to me, the workers did most of the work so far on the top floors. That, well, this is the first floor. I started out in the basement and that's where most of the cool stuff was. These rooms, I'm not gonna even bother showing you because they're, they're kind of just like run of the mill. However, if I see something cool like this thing, guys, please leave it in the comments. What is this? It says check protector. I bet you any money when I press these buttons, they're gonna be so satisfying. Very mechanical, watch this. I'm a little disappointed. Ah, you gotta know how to press it. Very mechanical. That is made by Hedman Company. And the label's right there. Awesome, lovely pink room of death. Three desks if needed. The piss corner, all right, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> they must've knew I was coming. And there's nothing back here. It's totally random. Here's a glass door. Oh, look at that. You can see outside. This is so random. You can't even go out there though. It's all boarded up and everything. Oh, wow. That's what the side of the building looks like. This is weird. That's where I went in at. Let's go back down. Pretty sure this is the front door. This piece right here. Oh yeah, you can't even open it. It's locked from the inside. So yeah, not only are there boards in front of it, there's stuff behind it too. Yeah, this must be an administration office or something. All this old paperwork left behind. That's definitely old paperwork. Some gnarly looking fan. Oh man. Completely raveled and mangled. I hear water. I hear lots of water. Oh wow. This vent right here is leaking. It's squirting out. I love that glass right there. These little windows you can look through in the main hallways and stuff. Beautiful. This is kind of beautiful too, actually, this room. I love the curtains. Don't ask me where I'm at, y'all. All I know is I'm on the first floor still. And this is the roof, part of it, but this is just the first floor. And that's the basement down there, I think. That's what it looks like from the courtyard. So this place did have a legit courtyard. I wonder if I can open these windows and kind of look out here. Can you? Oh, oh man, that is stuck. I don't think that's gonna open. All these windows look stuck. Yep, yeah. uh, not happening. Here we go with more, more ice all over the floor. It is super slippery in all of these rooms. That one's all wet, full of water. It says education up there. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. This might have been the school part of it. Like, was this a school too or something? I don't know. Like, it's like, it's kind of weird in here, actually. I do not want to slip. This is so full of water everywhere and ice. Wow. Oh boy, look at what I found. Oh boy, I'm almost slipping, here we go. This is cool. 
Well, there's like hospital beds in here everywhere. Oh man, they really went all out here, huh? <laughs> Here's a surgical mask. Looks like a high tech one. Look at this old fan here, Emerson Electric. I actually remember these way, way, way back in the day. I don't know what that thing is. Let's see if there's anything in the drawers. Yeah, nothing. Nothing down there either. They make for a cool picture though. These two bids together like that. I like that. Birthdays to remember here. This is two, October 2004 on this calendar here. And this is a fall calendar. Yeah. What is this thing? Oh, I think this is the thing where they keep babies at. What is all of this stuff on here? Day 12. Oh, this tells you how to take care of wounds and stuff. Okay. Yeah, it tells you like where to put the gauze, so what? Oh, it tells you what it is actually. Dressing cover for the wound, all that stuff. I mean, I could sit here and read about this all day, but I know you guys really want to see what's up with this hospital. So let's do that. Oh, now this is cool. Oh my goodness. Very picture worthy in here. Look at this classroom. This is awesome. Oh, wow. This is a whole classroom. Look at all these chairs and seats and everything. This is so old and cool looking. And this is where they would operate on the dummy to show the classroom, you know, how to work this stuff. What is that, a robot? Look at the little feet down there. This is like a child or something. Oh, this is cool. All this old projector. Look, look at an old projection machine right there. I don't know what all that stuff is right there. These look like slides or something. Role of the labor partner. Okay, we get it. Now let's go up here and see what we can find, I guess. Huh? Shall we? This stuff is so old, I love it. All this old classroom stuff. I can't even get back there. I would love to take a shot though. Let me see. It's gonna have to be a handheld shot. Oh, I could barely squeeze in it. They did not build this classroom up to code. There's no way people could fit in here like this. Look how crammed it is. Good gracious. This is way too crammed for my style. Way too cramped. Yeah, you can't even get a proper shot in here. This is very cool looking though, that's for sure. Wow, amazing looking. I'm gonna shimmy my way on through over to this side. There's no way that all of these people sat this close to each other. You can't move in here at all. This is crazy. All right, let me stand back and get a good shot back here. Guess I'll turn on the light. Why not, right? I kind of rhymed a little bit. Yeah, this is awesome to see this in person. Not many people get to see this stuff, but I did. And this one says positions for pushing. <laughs> let me zoom in a little bit and get a closer shot here. I think, yeah, this is for a woman if she's pregnant. Yeah, this was the school section of the hospital. I guess where they used to train nurses and stuff. Oh, this is all kind of the same stuff here. I see something down here for babies. When they're inside the womb, can y'all see that? That's really cool. Right here had to be some kind of thing where patients would grab onto it and it can kind of help them up if they were bedridden like this little child mannequin right here. Yeah, this is awesome. What did I just touch? Ew, it's disgusting. It's like gooey and stuff, ew. Why do I smell fried chicken outside? Let me, let me see. Oh yeah, that smells great. Kind of want some fried chicken. I might go to Popeye's after this. Shout out to uh, Popeye's if y'all want to sponsor me. All right, let's keep it moving.
Uh, I'm not going to show you every one of these rooms because they're all very linear. They just, they just look all the same. Not too much going on. They just kind of run of the mill. It's actually kind of boring. I'm only going to show you like the good stuff. So here we go. Come on the third floor, just like that, because there wasn't much left behind on the second. This looks a little bit more promising though. I want to know how to get into that building. How do you do that? Is there like a crosswalk or something? This one. That one looks extra cool. How do you get in there though? I haven't figured it out yet, but uh, I'll try. I'll try my darndest to figure it out. It says down there, research institution. That's the research building. I don't know how to get in there. Damn, all these glass windows are just busted up. Ooh, figure go right through that. Nothing here. Yeah, look, you can see that building right across from this one we're in. Ouch. Yeah, how do you get over there? Guys, I am trying to figure this out the best I can. I don't know, have we been in there already? I can't figure it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. It looks like you have to, let me see. It looks like we're on the, that's the basement down there. One, two, three. I'm on the third floor right now, so it looks like I have to go to the first floor in the front of the building and then straight, shoot straight ahead. Let's try that and see. But I'm not really done exploring yet up here. I want to see what's going on. This is all like safety rules and stuff. Emergency generators. Yeah. Okay. Typical corporate buzzwords. Respect, patience, cooperation, loyalty, celebration, family, trust, all that stuff that does not mean anything in the corporate business. It's all just buzzwords. Ooh, that's not good. Let's go down here. See what we got. I don't think we're gonna need that light right now. Hello, anybody back here? Old vending machine, look at this. An old Coke machine just rotting away. It looked like a lot of these canisters right here. A lot of the Coke cans already busted in here. Probably from the different variations in the weather from hot to cold. And they just couldn't stand it anymore. And this is kind of what happened. Yeah. A whole assortment of drinks right there. That's cool though. It's just a lonely afternoon up here. On a rainy, snowy, gray day. This is kind of what we're at. All right, let's keep it moving. Found something else that's pretty cool. This one's called the Bell Tone. No idea what this was. I know back in the day, they got a lot of stuff wrong. A lot of stuff, but they made some really cool equipment to last. I bet you any money, if I plug this thing in right now, it'd probably work. And the nurse or whoever was listening on the other end probably was wearing these headphones so they could listen. Huh. Here we are, fourth floor. One of the first things I see right here, class of 65. That is old. That is really old. Wow. Yeah, there's that. Look at that. There's that building again. Congratulations to Millard Fillmore Health System Nurse of Distinction 1994, Barbara Nelson. Hmm. All these people here. Waylon Jennings, Patty Loveless. Oh, wait, this is a singer? These are country singers. Some of them. I says, it says, I smoked in my teen years. I finally quit smoking because someone who really cared about me kept discouraging me. Eventually I became so annoyed by the way 
the cigarette smoke made my hair and clothes smell that I was able to quit cold turkey. Now being around smoke really bothers me, especially when I'm playing in a small club. This is what the non-smoking ads used to look like back in the day. Look, he's pissed off. He's crushing that can of, uh, crushing a box of cigarettes. Yes, indeed. All right, let's keep it moving. Here's some old VCR tapes and whatnot. What are these about? Abbott Labs Life Care. I wish I had a VCR on hand. I'll probably play some of these while I'm here. Old files, everything's here. Yeah, y'all, here we are. I think I made it to the other side. This looks different. This looks way different. Look at the tile. It's like a little laundry chute or something. It doesn't open. Look at this. Don't stick your hand in there. Probably filled with needles and stuff. Look at this fan. Definitely from a lot of moisture in the air. Does it still spin? It does still spin. How about that? This is pretty funny. <laughs> Look at all these phones right here. That'll make for a great shot. Hello, it's for you. <laughs> That's so cool. Such a weird place to put phones. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this is my favorite thing about a hospital, an old hospital or any abandoned place. Look at this, old pictures. This doesn't even look like it's from this country. But yeah, this is from Rome. It's a picture of Rome. What is this all about? Some slides. This is like, it's like a whole bunch of text on here. This is when you know this is when you know a place is old. Look at this, the old 80s style coffee cups like that. That is so cool. 80s and 90s right there in a hand cup. What is this stuff right here? Patients with stabilized asthmatic syndromes. It's a study binder. This is like old patient files and stuff. Wow. This stuff is so old. Why did they leave all this stuff behind like this? This is insane. Here's a whole bunch of x-rays. Yeah, this is x-rays, here we go. I don't even know what that is showing. But it's definitely showing something. This one's all stuck together, giggity. Um, yeah, I don't even know why these are all stuck together. Yeah, it's all pictures of the same thing. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, I think I finally made it to that side of the building. Pretty sure I'm here on this side, so this is definitely the building where I want to be at, according to the front door. All right, let's go take a peek, see what we have in here. <clears throat> it says Jewett Refrigerator. I say established 1849. That is old. Yeah, this is, oh, this is the morgue. This is, wait, the, yeah, wait, what is this? Oh wait, no, this is not the morgue. I think we saw the morgue downstairs already, but like, look at this. I don't know what they kept in here. This is some type of refrigeration unit. Oh, here it is. This is your answer right here. Let me turn this down a little bit. CPAS CBT serum, locker one, locker B1 contents, tio tubes, SBT pathogens, miscellaneous tubes. That's everything that it covered in here. It says analytical lab ongoing projects. What kind of projects were they doing in here? Look at all this stuff. Wow. This is impressive. I don't even know what all this stuff is. What, 30X wash butter? What? Wash butter? Don't you cook with butter? <laughs> Not this butter, that's for sure. Look at all that stuff. 
This is completely all intact. No bottles are busted or anything. Like this is really cool to see this. Ugh. Yeah, this is, this is cool. I like this. This is a good place. Let's say warning potential biohazard material, human source material, refer to product label and material safety data sheet for a lot specific HBs, AG, and HIV test results. What? That infectious agents are sent. Therefore, all human source products should be handled using the same safety precautions. Wow. What? Wait, is one of these tubes right here AIDS? Like an AIDS culture? What? No way. This is ridiculous. Here. Oh, wow. Some more stuff down here. Like these cabinets are absolutely... Oh, hiccup. These cabinets are absolutely loaded. What is this? Still got liquid in there. Ugh. Oh, it's full. Look. Yuck, yuck, yuck. It says right here on this wall, no oxidizing agents or heavy metals are to be disposed of insolvent drums see barb okay let's go see if we can find barb let's talk to her see what's going on about this place oh i feel sorry if you got locked in this fridge what does this say cell mutation i don't even know what i don't even know what all this stuff means what is all this oh here's a Yes, yeah, tells you about a cholesterol chart here. Oh wow, we got a lot to explore, y'all. This room right here. Look at all this stuff. Just time capsule stuff, material everywhere. Ew. I thought this was a bag of ice. <laughs> it looked like ice cubes or something, but it is not. And what is this? I don't even want to know what that is. Let's say cream challenge. Hmm. Animal, animal work. Were they testing animals in here or something? Maybe. Oh yeah, this is sick. Hazardous waste satellite accumulation area. Oh wow, look at this. Hoo -hoo. Jackpot. This hospital is amazing. Yeah, this is like the laboratory or something in here. Look at all the stuff on the ground. This is amazing. Oh, almost tripped. Looks like I found some Apple glasses right here. It's a new Apple glass product. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely, uh, definitely the lab. It's a peaceful building. Very, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. Caution, biological hazard, authorized personnel only. I mean me, Ranger Rick, we gotta do some Ranger stuff and scout it out and see what's going on in here. This is gnarly looking. Look at this. Dr. Dan Donna, diabetes research. Oh, this is to test diabetes. This is amazing to see this in person. Look at this. Oh, wow. We got antiseptic stuff in there and gauze and all these little beakers and everything. It doesn't get much better than this. There's an old specimen bag for whatever. Looks like we found another laboratory in here. Yeah, this is like another lab. It's a refrigerator right here to keep all the chemicals and everything that they need. Here's a safe or something. 
I don't know what for what, but that is a safe right there. Probably to keep biohazard stuff and whatnot. This one you can kind of open. Nothing in there though. Can we squeeze through? What is that thing? It's probably to spin something. All these little chemical jugs and everything. Look at all this. The water, all these tubes and everything. Retur return graduate, let's see. Graduate cylinders to rack after each use. And the tile work in here. Patience writes. You can't, <laughs> you can't even make the words out. Come on, y'all, wait. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I thought it was like a glass sheet over it, but that's just condensation. Look at the tile work. What is this room? What is, see, what is this stuff? Like, I don't even know what half this medical equipment is. It's so outdated and so old that I have no idea what I'm looking at anymore. Standard register. This looks like an ironing board. This looks like it leads to downstairs, but we gotta be careful, y'all. This is some slippery, slippery ice. Like, very slippery. Like, I'm about to fall and bust my ass right now. Look at that. What is this thing? Oh my god. I don't even know what that is. This is so slippery. Dialysis reception. This is where the nurse lady used to sit back in the day. This hallway is actually made out of carpet, but you wouldn't know it because there's a layer of water and ice here. Yep, falling through. Falling through. Okay, let's keep it moving. Norman E. Hornug, MD, President Medical Staff, Coordinator. I guess this is his office. With a whole bunch of stuff in it. Would you like some cheese to go with that wine? Hell yeah. I'm hungry too. Oh boy. Look at all these keys in here. This is keys to the hospital. That's what's up. Oh my God, they're all over the place. Look at all the keys. They're all over. Get in here, I think this is office. Blueprints to the building. It's like a mountain of paperwork here. Oh wow. Hobo motor on off. Yeah, this is definitely somebody's office. Siemens Insight User Guide. A pretty fountain right there. Too bad I cannot get outside. Every door to the courtyard is locked solid. But that is the beautiful courtyard. Look at that. Let's see if I can get a pan shot of it standing in here in this corner. This is kind of what it looks like. The best thing is the fountain for sure. It's all frozen. That's definitely the courtyard. Enjoy. It says this room is the exit, but I beg to differ. Oh my goodness. What in God's green earth did I just find here? Oh my God. I found it. I knew it was here. I knew they had a hyperbolic chamber. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God. I'm sorry guys that you have to go through all of that with me, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I usually make weird sounds when I get excited, but oh my God, I have to go in here. Shoe <laughs> Shoes, covers, please. USS beer. Somebody put a rosary on it. Is this where you go to die? Let's go inside, shall we? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Look at how beautiful this place is. This is almost like a bunker, but like not a bunker. Look at this thing. This is definitely a hyperbolic chamber. Look at that. They have the gas mask here and everything, even the gauges. Look at that. What in the hell did I just find? I've been reading about this place for so long and rumors had it they had a hyperbolic chamber in here and yeah, I found it. God forbid you shut that door behind you, you ain't getting out of this 
place. I was about to say bitch, but I didn't. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, you're not like, oh yeah, this still moves. You are not getting out of here if that is shut at all. This is solid steel. Oh my God, they even have it in here too. Look at that. That is so nutty. Oh my goodness. This is disgusting. Look at that. That's somebody's foot that has been amputated off. Oh my God. Wait, no, that's not an amputation. That's a meat eating virus disease that person had. Oh my God. What is behind this massive monster? Look, you can like kind of see in there. What is behind this thing? This is totally badass. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. What is behind here, though? Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is behind it. This is what I call a masterpiece. Oh my goodness. Wow, I don't even know where to begin. Outer exhaust. I don't want to. I mean, they shut it off, so it shouldn't do anything, right? This is just too cool, too cool for school. And look at this, you can kind of see in there and see what's going on. See if the people are suffering or not. Here's some buttons. That's so cool. And what does this thing do? Oh, what do we have in this room? What is all of this stuff? Medical stuff galore left behind like crazy. A freezer or something. Is this a freezer? Maybe. Oh, here we go. Some more goodies for us to look at and to gawk over. Oh my god. This is like another laboratory I just found in here. This is the place that just keeps on giving. Just keeps on giving. What are all these orange things for? Looks like like bottle caps for something. Yeah, this is cool. I love this place. Now, if that's not sus, somebody didn't want you going in there. They bricked the door off. Look, is this a bookshelf? That's a bookshelf. You can get in from the other side, maybe. Look at this. This is old too. All of this stuff is so outdated and old. On God's green earth that I just find. What did they use these chains for? This is so, like, this is so random to find all of this stuff. Oh my God. Freaky. What the hell is this thing? I've never seen this before in my life. What is that? You put this over your mouth? That's gotta be for the hyperbaric uh, chamber. Maybe. I just found somebody's office. Maybe these were the people that used to work here, huh? Could be. Here we go, I think this would help us out a little bit. Clinical education, dialysis, et cetera, et cetera. All right, plant operations, all that. It says it right here. Look at this. It shows you the people sitting inside. How cool is that? What is a hyperbaric chamber, oxygen therapy? HBO has proven benef beneficial in treatment of carbon dioxide poisoning, gas, gangrene, decon decompression, sickness. If anybody has hyperbaric therapy, has gotten hyperbaric therapy, leave it in the comments section. I'm curious to see what this is all about here. That's cool. Jeez. This room definitely has seen better days in here. Oh God. I think it's safe to say I definitely found the front of the building. Let's be careful to going downstairs again. Let's be careful. Yeah, this is definitely the front of the building. What is down here though? What is this? Nothing's down here. Not really. Cool looking entry, sort of. Let's 
go back up. This is cool. Now we're getting into the gnarly stuff. I'm not going to walk in there because the floor looks way too dangerous. But I love when the leaves cover the windows. That's exactly what they're doing here. The water is getting super deep here. Got to be extra careful here. I mean, look how gnarly this looks. This is crazy looking. Look at all the tree moss and everything growing in here. How nifty is that? You don't see that too often, but when you do, it is amazing. Look at that. So cool to see this. That's a pencil sharpener, a very old one. Yeah, this is cool. I love it. Simplex. What a lonely looking table right there. Who did this? <laughs> this is honestly a work of art. Whoever did this, hats off to you. I want to shake your hand. See if we can squeeze by here without knocking this stuff down. This is amazing. <laughs> Who did this with the chair? <laughs> Who did this? Give it up for the chair person. <laughs> That's so cool. Um. Yep, all ice. Look at the green moss. How beautiful is that? So I think this is safe to say this place is literally frozen in time. <laughs> Look at this. Everywhere you step, man, it's so slippery everywhere. This is starting to get gnarly now. Look at that. Everywhere. Well, if this isn't creepy enough for you, <laughs> I found the walker room. Literally, all the walkers are inside of here. How cool is that? Ew! Look at this. Look how fuzzy. Look at all the mold spores and bacteria in this room. This is unheard of. More, the mold is so thick in this room, it's actually growing spores at least six inches above the carpet. This looks like grass. All right, this is carpet that I'm walking on. Watch how slippery this is. Impressive. You don't see stuff like that too often down south. So I'm so obsessed with it. Tom, I didn't even know this, but <laughs> apparently you could walk right through this screen here. So the whole side of the building's actually missing. Fun times, fun times. Don't fall through. <laughs> Fill everybody in. I believe these X's are where they're gonna knock the walls down first because they are in the middle of demo. It's just, it looks like they quit. They halted for whatever reason.